Hi, Dr. Bexman speaking with another episode of the show Overrated, Underrated in Orthodontics. And today I'm going to talk about overcompensation. And this is something, this is a very personal one now, I don't like at all. And people come to me telling me, oh, I've got a deep bite. Now I position the brackets in a different spot. Oh, I've got an open bite, I have to do that. There's a rotation, I place the bracket a little bit further like that way. And from my point of view, maybe you know, I, I do lean orthodontics. That's a very efficient way, which um, makes sure that I don't have to think about all the time about my cases because this is what takes all my energy. I want to have a practice that runs on a kind of autopilot, like a really, really perfectly oiled machine. And I don't have to interfere with every case all the time. This is so much hassle. That's so much work when you really want to see a lot of patients. So what I personally think is when you do your overcompensation, like placing the bracket somewhere else in the beginning that means two things number one is you have to rebond them or the front in the deep bite for example just before finishing or you have to do really a lot of wire bending that takes a lot of time to do that and the next thing is uh, when you're in the middle of the treatment um, you always have to think about who has positioned these brackets like this on this patient why are they positioned in that way because you started already opening the bite so you don't see the um, original problem anymore if you want to see what was going on in the beginning you always have to look in the history of the card of the history of your treatment and then you have to catch up with it and that takes away so much time when you look at your patient one minute of reading the patient uh, notes just before your treatment then you see 50 patients that's 50 minutes you're just losing by not working really efficiently so from my point of view don't do that don't do overcompensation in your treatment it's not worth it the other argument brought up when when we talk about overcompensation is yeah um, it's better for your retention the teeth stay more stable when you over rotate them a little bit when they were rotated and this may possibly be the case but wouldn't it be much easier if you just would do long-term retention in a decent way then you don't have to think about all that stuff and do that extra work maybe think about it um, write your comments tell me what you think about it that's a controversial one i know that but never mind for me personally um, overcompensation is absolutely absolutely overrated <laughs>